Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Li. Today we're going to explore this uh, new uh, tropical fruit in a Tagami painting. Uh, it's called uh, Rambatan. Rambatan is a Malaysian word, I think. There might be other names in Southern Asia, uh, in Vietnam, Thailand, and uh, other countries, Indonesia, uh, also in Southern China, I think. Um, this is produced in Mexico. Uh, they now have this in South, uh, North America as well. And uh, uh, I'm very curious as you do. I uh, don't know what's inside, so let's open it first. Okay. It's, a, uh, it's very soft, actually. So it's like a leech inside. See, this is the inside isn't that nice and this is the um, hair so rambatan is a uh, kind of hairy fruit in uh, Malaysia language uh, in Chinese we call it hong mao dan red hairy fruit and uh, so this is very special to I like this one maybe more interesting. So I use uh, Blue Hair Arts A20 uh, brush. It's a uh, brush pen actually. I have clean water in it, but it was a uh, ink. So let me draw this uh, hair first. Interesting hair. So I keep the uh, the round shape, the oval shape, the fruit in mind when I draw the hair, the contour. So uh, I will use color to define the red body part. There are dots in the end of the the air, the the hair, uh, almost like a lychee fruit. They're the same family as lychee or long and root family, but taste uh, different, I guess. Um, I tasted yesterday like a light lychee, a little tougher, but it may t taste different in Thailand or South Asia than Mexico because of the different in climate. I think. The also I will do this open one. So we actually make the fruit talk to each other in composition uh, somehow. It has to go outside the frame. I'll omit this uh, this half, maybe more room for that. Now I use a clean brush with uh, some color. Uh, first of all, let me define the inner fruit with light ink. Just use some gray here to give some uh, shade. We don't do much shading in Chinese or uh, Japanese uh, uh, 
painting. So basically, leave the the white background as uh, white. Don't use white. I just use this water. You can clean the brush with the paper towel actually before you change color. I just use a little bit carmine and the rouge mix to get this uh, dark red. Before it gets dry, it's good timing. And uh, just draw over, roll the brush. You can leave some white, that's fine. And this one. to include that part. Let me see if I have space for it. The hair is very curly, not straight. And you should do it in a grouping of uh, three or five. And uh, notice the dance and sparse difference. Put a little bit yellow in it. Okay, and uh, Some kind of gray inside. Okay, now I'm going to sign. Right. Okay, you have to write something to make it a uh, painted uh, letter. So I'll just write the Chinese name. Sure. I will try another one, maybe. Or should we try the fruit first? Anyway, um, <clears throat> I hope you have enjoyed this uh, um, demo and uh, uh, you always keep curiosity and uh, great uh, gratitude to the food uh, you're, you're having. And uh, etagami is the art of a uh, 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 appreciation of life. So, uh, hope you got some inspiration to do your own etagami um, letters and uh, share with your friends and uh, uh, artists uh, 
uh, classmates in my in the online class that we are doing and uh, uh, if you want to join us, please go to blueheronarts.com or chinesebrushpainting.ning.com. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.